the 2023 team captains. There he is again, Xavier Johnson, the X. He is a first-time team captain. The other two are two-time team captains. Cade Stover, the tight end. Tommy Eichenberg, the linebacker. This is the first time, Chris, and I looked this up uh, yesterday. The first time since 2009. So 14 seasons since Ohio State has had three uh, team captains. Only three. They have had at least five or more every other year. And just... Three team captains. Last couple years, it's been like seven, eight team captains. Yeah. Only three. What does that mean, Chris? What do you all think it means? Let me know in the comments well, section. I think it's a couple things, Eric. Obviously, we've had some. Well, first of all, to be a team captain, I think you have to prove it on and off the field. And I don't know we either on the field or off the field that maybe some of these guys haven't proved it. Now, an argument might be made for maybe a Steel Chambers to get a shot at it. But then again, you know, you look at, like, the guys on the offensive line. We got a young offensive line with the exception of, like, Matthew Jones. Even even Donovan's still young. Uh, hey, Redshirt sophomore. Red shirt sophomore. sophomore. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got no established guys at the tackles, so... You don't have an established quarterback as of yet. That we know uh, of. That we know of. <laughs> um, you, you know, your receivers are all underclassmen. I mean, mm. like most, Buka and Harrison are both juniors. They're juniors, but they're upperclassmen, but they're not seniors. Yeah. Um, maybe an argument could be made for Harrison Jr. Uh, specifically since he's the you know, now the best player in college football, but let me say um, let me ask let me ask you this question: Are you surprised that Marvin Harrison Jr. or Mecca Buka or both that JTT that uh, Donovan Jackson, who are all of these guys are considered potential first round draft picks next year? None of them were named team captain. Does that surprise you at all? Not a hundred percent. I mean, really, you're not surprised maybe, by that? Like I said Harrison, maybe. Um, I look at these guys though, and there's a reason they're not a team captain. Are they not? Are they not vocal leaders in the clubhouse? Are they not vocal leaders on the field? Maybe they maybe they are quiet quiet leaders like Tommy Eichenberg. I don't know. Um, communicates and grunts. <laughs> communicates. You know what? As long as he's getting a hundred tackles a year, I don't care if that's how he communicates. You know. Um, but but to me. Donovan Jackson. He appeared to be a, the the vocal leader on that offensive line. Now they're saying Fryer was the leader, but no, that's not what I my two well, eyes were telling me. In practice, this guy was not the leader. Donovan Jackson is the one who's going to get it in everybody's face on that offensive line. That's team captain like, okay? Um, does he do it in the right way? So that that's the question of is that team captain like? I mean, that's I don't know. it's. I can't. I can't speak to that because I haven't seen it done. So you, your team captains are not always your best players. We know that. No. Okay, we we, we know that. They're your but leader. but the given the tr- given the track record uh ever since like I said the end of Trestle's era and even Trestle ha- at times had quite a few uh, during the Urban Meyer era and so far during the Ryan Day era there was literally if you're at least a junior and you're good you're one of the better guys. You might get drafted, or there's a pretty good potential opportunity for you to get drafted. You were going to be team captain. That is not the direction that is going. They're going this year at all. Good. Make it. A, make it something special. Make it something special. I mean, uh, you look. You mentioned JTT. I look at JTT. I look at Jack Sawyer. I look at all these guys on the defensive line, and I say. I haven't seen the consistency on the field to justify them being a captain. I've seen great play at times, but I haven't seen consistency. Did the coach, uh, Lenny, Lenny says, did the coaches vote for these guys as captains or did the players vote them in? So the players vote for them, but then the, then the coaches decide. Yeah. So the, the players vote. They then look at the votes, the tallies, and then the coaches decide Lenny. So the coaches looked at all the, all the 
votes that came in, and then they they are the ones who said we're only going to do three. They made that decision. This is a this is a coach's decision thing, and I think it was. Let me see if I can find it. Robert said, "Narrow the focus and unite the team voice." I, I he brings up he brings up a good question. Were there too many voices in the locker room when you had that many team captains? Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. I'm I'm asking you. Are you are you agree with that? I could see that. I could see that being a potential thing. Uh, you know, and you know, you popped Frank's comment up there. Of all the people who weren't named captain, right there is the one that surprised me most with Steel Chambers. Because I think yeah. he is a vocal leader. He's also a roommate with Steel and, and Cade. They're, they're yeah. all three of those guys are roommates. Tommy and Cade, yeah. So um you have one defensive guy in in uh in Eichenberg. You have one off you have one offensive guy in Kate Stover. And I'm calling Xavier a special teams guy. Yeah. Now he, he will play offense, but I think and that's traditionally for the longest time in football, talking eighties, nineties, you know, growing up, you had three team captains. You had an offense, a defense, and a special teams guy. And, 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 you know, maybe like uh, Robert mentioned, maybe they are streamlining. Tommy Eichenberg, this is the voice of our defense. You know, Cade Stover, this is the voice of our offense. Xavier Johnson, he is the voice of our special teams who will play offense sometimes. And who knows, if we get a pinch, maybe he'll be a, line, a, a defensive back. Who knows? You know, just... <laughs> Kicker. <laughs> Kicker. Xavier, can you kick one? We need you. Um, I like it. I'm not yeah, going to lie. I, I feel like we have had – like I feel this should be special. This it, should be yeah, something – watered it down with all the people. Yes. It. it watered it down. It was like, oh, you're going to the NFL. You should probably be a team captain. No. The team captains were not always NFL players, man. No. And, and you, you, know, you go to the captain's dinner, which is a real thing. At Ohio State, that's a great tradition that goes all the way back to, I don't know, probably before Woody. I don't know. Um, but that's something that you earn, man. And I think it, to the fact that all three of these guys, all right, check this out. All three of these guys came back. Stover and Eichenberg could have went to the NFL draft and been drafted. Now they would have probably went fourth round or maybe well, later, but I, they Eichenberg I think would have gone third, but yeah. They will yeah, probably. He probably would have been maybe late second day. But all three would have or at least those two would have been drafted. And Xavier graduated, and if I'm not mistaken, he walked. Like he yeah. he well, he graduated two years ago already, but he walked on senior day. He did. And he decided to come back. So all three of these guys made decisions to come back for the season. Do you think that played a part in this? Well, of course it did. Absolutely. Uh, you know, there, there's their their loyalty to the program is being rewarded in a sense. You know, and, but you know what? That loyalty that that's definitely not the only factor. That's the big thing. These guys had the leadership characteristics that Ryan Day or Brian Hartline or Jim Knowles uh, saw that made them valuable to the team. So I think it was a combination of things. But, yeah, I feel that them showing that loyalty and returning definitely played a factor in it. Fair enough. 